In OpenWhisk, a sequence is a series of actions that, when invoked, will automatically pass the output of the first action as the input to the next action. This allows you to combine existing actions in new and interesting ways. In this demo, I'll start with our existing Hello World action and then put it into a sequence with a new action called Reverse, which, you guessed it, reverses the output of the Hello action. Let's get to work. Here you can see our existing Hello World action. It simply returns a message of Hello plus the value of the name parameter that is passed in. To create the Reverse action, I'll click the Create an Action button at the top of the editor. I'll specify a name of reverse and leave the rest of the fields with their default values to create a new Node.js 6 action. In order to make this action reverse one of its input parameters, I'll replace the hello world string with a function call to reverse the message parameter that's passed in. Next, I'll implement the reverse function. Now, when this action is invoked, it will reverse the value of the message parameter that is passed in. I'll make this change live and test it out by using the Run This Action button at the top of the editor. In the JSON input field, I've already got a message parameter specified with a value of change me. That should be good enough to verify that this action is doing what it's supposed to do. Now I'll click Run With This Value. The invocation console comes up and the output shows me that in fact the message parameter that I passed in has been reversed. That's great, now let's put this into a sequence with the hello action. I'll start by selecting the hello action and then at the bottom of the editor you'll see a link into a sequence button. This brings up a UI that allows me to select which action I want to be next in the sequence after hello. You see the variety of public actions that are available, but what I want is my new reverse action, which I'll find by going into My Actions. After picking My Actions, I'll select the reverse action, and then click the Add to Sequence button. Here you can see how our sequence is shaping up. First, the Hello action is invoked, and you can see that its output is passed as the input to the reverse action. This looks good to me, so I'll click the This Looks Good button. Now I'm given a chance to give this sequence a name, something that will make sense to me in the future. I'll call it Reverse Hello. I'll save the action and then click Done. Now you can see in the left, in the My Sequences view, the new Reverse Hello sequence has been created. To test it out, all I need to do is select the sequence and then click the Run This Sequence button at the top of the editor. This familiar looking UI allows me to invoke the sequence with a specified parameter. Remember, this input is going into the Hello action, so what I need to specify for it is a name parameter. Just for fun, I'll specify a name parameter of backwards and then click Run with this value. Once again, the invocation console comes up, and this time we can see the output of our sequence. Here we can verify that the output of the low action has indeed been reversed in our sequence.